Have you ever wondered to yourself if an AI robot could play through an entire Pokemon game without losing a single battle? I highly doubt it, but fortunately for you, this is something that I started thinking about a few days ago and I really wanted to see what I could do with it. I wanted to see if ChatGPT could Nuzlocke an entire playthrough of Pokemon Black for me by letting it choose my starter, the nicknames, and also each of the Pokemon I would catch on each route. The results were not great. So I got the process started, and after the chat gave me an entire breakdown of the upcoming routes and what Pokemon to expect, we finally came to an agreement on what not only my starter and his nickname would be, but also the first Pokemon I would catch on Route 1. So it looks like I'll be starting off with a Snivy named Leafy, and a Patrat that I will personally be naming Ernie. If you guys think I can beat the entire game without losing my entire team while also imposing a level limit, then go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. And now, back to the show. What's up everyone, it's Gummy Whirlpool here, and this is my first playthrough here on YouTube, and it can't be with a better game. Pokemon Black, one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Now, this is around the time, when the game came out at least, this is around the time when I first started being online in the Pokemon community. Uh, I had another failed YouTube channel back in like 2011. Uh, so it kind of made me not want to be in the Pokemon community as much, but I figured might as well get back into it now. I've always wanted to dip my toes back into the community, and what better way to do it with one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Now, there's obviously Pokemon Black and Pokemon, or Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2, but like I said, this one holds a special place in my heart. Uh, when all the starters got announced, when they all got released, I just, they were all so cool. Tepig, Snivy, Oshawa, every one of them was just super, super awesome. And honestly, I couldn't pick one between the three. Uh, my favorite is obviously Tepig, because, you know, oink oink. Uh, but you can't go wrong with either of them. So, you know, Snivy, Oshawa, literally can't go wrong. This is back in, what, 2011, I think, is when Black and White came out and I've just learned so much about the game and I just want to spread that knowledge and just show my excitement of how excited I actually am to be playing through this game uh, and doing this series. Now, the best part about it is it's not just any regular playthrough. This is gonna be a playthrough where I'm using ChatGPT, but I'm also implementing those Nuzlocke rules to make the game a little bit extra spicy. So you can see on the left, I have my ChatGPT chat, and that'll be where I ask all the questions. So every time I ask it a question, that'll be kind of playing on the side, and then obviously the actual gameplay in the middle. And then on your bottom, you have all the Pokemon, so all six of my Pokemon. And then on the right side, you have all the rules. So obviously, standard Nuzlocke's rule apply, all fan Pokemon are considered dead and cannot be used anymore. I can only catch one Pokemon every route slash area, and also, I'm also putting a level limit down so I cannot exceed the highest level of the next boss. Uh, and then, obviously, the last rule, chat GPC will choose all team members, so they'll choose all my team members, and they'll also choose my team members, except for the first one. I'm going to go ahead and name the first one. Not the starter, but the first Pokemon that I catch will be named by... So we got our box of starters from Juniper. So let's go ahead and take a look at these bad boys. Obviously, first is the best. We got Tepig, Oshawott, and then Snivy. So in this playthrough, we're gonna be using Snivy because I already asked Chat what to do, and it said fucking use the grass snake. So you know what? I have to do it. So I'm gonna go with Snivy, and we're gonna see if Snivy can get us through this adventure. I asked Chat. GPT, what was the hardest Pokemon to start with? And it said Snivy, so I said, alright, let's do it. We'll use the Grass Snake. And I know I wish I used Tepic, honestly, but again, it's out of my control. I can only ask the chat what it wants me to do. So, we're gonna go and have our first battle here against Bianca. So, really excited to get this started, and we're gonna see what we're working with. Maybe our Snivy's a good nature. Um, hopefully, it's got some good IVs. Uh, don't really care about but all I care about is getting this adventure started. So she has her Oshawa and I've got a snipe. So I've got the top screen so on the top and the bottom screen on the bottom so that you can see all the moves and you can kind of see what I'm thinking about when I'm actually doing it. So I thought people would enjoy that, so I went ahead and included all that kind of fun stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and kick this Oshawa's ass. Get out of here, Bianca. She's not even up to far. She can't even hang with big. So let me knock out a little otter here. Oh, look at that critical hit already. Let's go, Snivy. Already putting in a shift. All right. Exciting, exciting, exciting. So, um, like I said, we've already got our name picked out also for Snivy. I think he's going to be Leafy, according to ChatGPT. And I already asked the chat what I should catch in the first round. 
Uh, and it said I should get a Patrat. So I asked which one would be the hardest between the Pokemon available, and it said to use Patrat. You know, I can't argue with that. I've never, I've played through a few Pokemon's logs, but I've never actually finished them. But I always wanted to make sure I got my Patrat to make it as far as possible. Unfortunately, I never made it past like the third gen And we've already gone ahead and absolutely fucked up uh, the So, luckily, we're not gonna have to take care of that. That is all mom's job, so we're gonna go ahead and kick up my chair. We're gonna go ahead and battle his ass, we're gonna kick everyone's ass that stands in our way of this as long. So, now we gotta deal with the best one. Honestly, I think it's like top three favorite Pokemon of all time. So, I'm honestly gonna feel a little bad about kicking this epic a lot, but you know what? I'm smelling. Nuzlocke doesn't start until we catch our first Pokemon. It's obviously going to be that we trapped. So I'm also going to go ahead and name the first Pokemon that we catch. And it's going to go ahead, I'm going to name that bad boy Ernie. I think Ernie is an absolutely great name for the trap. So I hope it's a boy. If not, it's going to be a girl trap named Ernie. And it's, I'm not going to change it to Ernesta or Ernesto, or whatever it wants to be called. It's going to be Ernie because that's what I want it to be. So I hope chat GPT is in our favor. Let's look at our Wii real quick. It's not scratched. It's honestly a miracle. We just had our Pokemon running on the walls and destroying the bedroom and all causing a big old ruckus. And it didn't even scratch the Wii. Those things are absolute bricks. They can probably survive in apocalypse. So let's go ahead and talk to our mom. They're apologizing for destroying the room that mom's gonna have to inevitably clean up because I'm going on an adventure and I don't have time to deal with that. Bye. Sorry, Mom. I didn't know we were going to have a Pokemon battle in my fucking bedroom. But, you know, what a great place to start off your adventure than in your bedroom. So, we're going to talk to our Mom real quick, and then we're going to head outside. She's going to heal us real quick as well. And then we're going to go and see the beautiful region of Unova. We're also going to get our X transceiver, our cross transceiver. And this is going to be our device that we use to call people and kind of get in contact with them throughout the region. Let's watch some TV real quick. Good stuff on the TV. Nope, nope, can't get distracted. We got a Nuzlocke to do. But if we did get a Pokemon with Moody, that wouldn't be horrible. But it could also backfire. So maybe it's not the best idea. So let's step out into the Unova region and we first see some blue bats flying by. And I see Bianca running down south. We should check up on her. But first, we gotta talk to this, this, this guy right here. So he's up to the power of science. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go see what Bianca's up to. Hopefully, there's no domestic abuse happening. House. I hate to walk in on that. Hey, Bianca, what's going on? Oh, no, domestic abuse. Mom's just hanging out in the corner behind the trash can. Hopefully, nothing happens. You know, honestly, I kind of feel bad for Bianca and Mom. I do know as soon as we leave this house, there's going to be some... From, from Papa. So I hope I hope they're okay. I'll report it to the police. But right now, I got an adventure to do. So Bianca already left, and I think she went out to Professor G. So let's go up there and meet Bianca and Sharon. We're going to go ahead and meet Juniper. Then I think we're also going to nickname our Pokemon when we get in here. So, here we go. Professor Juniper, what's up, girl? Our first female Pokemon Professor, nonetheless. I think I'm nice I'm not here. I mean, it's just, I think it's just her. A lot of desks, a lot of space for just one Professor. So that's where we're going to She's going to give us a Pokedex. So we help her fill up the entire end of the Pokedex. But first, we got a nickname that's Snipey. Ten different 
and then I'm going to randomize that list of 10, and whatever number it chooses is the name that we're going to choose each and every one. Except for Bernie, there is no go back on that. It's absolutely going to be named Bernie. Yeah, you know what a Pokemon is. Let's just, let's just get this adventure going. I got places to be, I got Pokemon to see. Now, one of the most important things is making sure that we don't exceed the highest level of the next boss. So I know in the next town we do face N, and he does have a level 7 purloin, um, but he's not considered a boss. So our bosses are going to be our gym leaders, our elite 4 members, and our champion. So he has a level 7 purloin, so I'm okay to have a level 1 that's level 7 and a level 8. Uh, that's not going too far past, and you got to make sure you're honestly a little leveled up by that point, because if you're not careful, this Perlin can absolutely wreck your day. It's got some pretty nasty moves, so we're gonna meet up with Mom real quick, and she's gonna give not only me a town map, but also my two boys here. Sorry, my boy and my girl. Bianca's a girl. Jane Jane's a boy. So we get our town maps, and now I think we're all ready to continue our adventure. Go on to round one, and we're gonna catch our first Pokemon. And we're gonna see if it's a boy or a girl, so hopefully the Patrat's a boy, because like I said, his name's gonna be Ernie. I don't want Ernie being a girl, but even if it is, you know what? Fair play to him. That's what Ernie wants. That's what Ernie gets. So, it is time to continue our adventure into the Nova region. Let's do this. And now I'm so excited to be, you know, like I said earlier, I'm so excited to be doing this as my first playthrough on YouTube. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am to kind of see where this takes us and to see the chat changes. You can really help me these logs. Like I said, I've done a, a bunch of Nuzlocks in the past on my own time, and I've been able to complete them, but... I've always had issues with Pokemon Black for some reason, so hopefully Chat can help me out this time, and hopefully we can get through this. So I think we're gonna go ahead and talk to Juniper, and she's gonna show us how to catch a Pokemon. Like we don't fucking know how to catch a Pokemon. We've been through the ring before, Juniper. Just give me the balls, let's get this going. I want this trap. But we're gonna watch her, and I think she's gonna go ahead and catch a big trap anyway, so we're gonna go watch her catch a Pokemon that we're literally about to catch. Whatever, Juniper, send out your Minchino, do what you need to do. So this is the I don't want my But if it is, no. So go ahead, pound that rat, smack it into it again. That way we need to get Now is the time to go to the Pokeball game. I can imagine we're just all behind the ball and yelling, Throw the ball! Throw the ball! It's a level 2 for chance! She's like, hush! I do this my way. I'm the professor here. I'm the first game ever. So we're gonna do things my way. You can only imagine those pushes. So she goes ahead and she catches the Patrat. What, what, what would Juniper nickname her Patrat? I feel like she's the kind of person who would just name their Patrat something really, really boring. Just like Rat or Patty. Patty's not that bad, actually. Especially if it's a female Patrat. Unfortunately. Stuck with Ernie. So, we finally get our Pokeballs. And now it's finally time to get our Pokemon. So, in normal Luzlox, whatever the first Pokemon that you encounter is, is usually the first Pokemon that you get. But, in this circumstance, if I don't run into a trap first, that's totally okay because I just have to get whatever chat tells me. So, if later on I get to a route where chat tells me to catch, for example, a P Dove, and it takes me 10 encounters to find a P Dove, that's totally okay. I just have to catch whatever chat tells me. So, it's not exactly the first Pokemon, it just gotta make sure that I catch the Pokemon that the chat tells me to catch. So, it is finally time to catch our trap. So let's head into the Ooh, first step. Literally, the trap is us. And it is a trap. Perfect. And it is, in fact, a female. But it is level 4, so it's already a pretty high level. I always say, run into the grass. It's a level 2. That's the only way to work. Because then you gotta level it up and you gotta rotate it out, switch it out. So, luckily, it's level 4, so it's already Chat told us to catch a Patrat, and we have done it, so we have caught the Patrat. 
Bastrat, the Scout of Mars. So, we already have a nickname for the Bastrat. Like I said, I'm nicknaming this one, and it's going to be a Pokemon. So, whoops. So, we're gonna go ahead and nickname this Pokemon Ernie, and then we're gonna continue up and go to the We started in the movie, the town of Emma Town, and I think the shrine is not next. So, what's happening in the town? But it's not in Dell, I don't want it Try to up north. I I think it was next. Either way, we got our Pokemon and then we can now head on up to the next part of the game. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and train up this team a little bit. I'm gonna try to get my beefy up to level 7, maybe level 8 if it happens. And I'm gonna try to get Ernie, maybe it's level 5, level 6, just so we can make sure that we're good and ready to take on Ernie. I don't want any sneaky surprise from I don't want to lose any Pokemon. I have really wiped out against Ed in the first battle before, and I have learned my lesson, so I won't take Ed for granted. Ed's been one of my favorite Pokemon favorite characters in the Pokemon universe, so I definitely don't disrespect him. Although Amethyst was really close to the game, because Amethyst is just absolutely badass. Go Leafy. So, we're gonna head up to the city real quick and we're gonna heal our Pokemon. And then, after we heal our Pokemon, we're gonna go ahead and train in the grass for a little bit. And then, we're gonna go take on Ben and hopefully we don't lose to him. So, I'll catch you guys in a second. Alright, we went ahead and healed our Pokemon and we bought a few potions as well. And it looks like there's a little bit of a commotion going on outside. But, Honestly, don't really care. We're gonna go ahead and train down south. So I'm gonna speed up the footage real quick just so you guys can see me taking on these Pokemon. And then I will meet you guys up at N and we'll see what is going on in the plaza up here. Now that we've got our team up to snuff, we can finally see what the fuck is going- Who are these guys? We can see what is going- Honestly, should I even pretend like I don't know what's going on here? I obviously know what's going on, that's Getsis and that's Team Plasma. Or is it more fun to be like, what's going on? I don't know. Honestly, a little bit of both, never hurt anyone, so... This is our introduction to Getsis. Let's say hi, Getsis. Hi, Getsis. And if you can look in the crowd, let's see if you can spot which one is N. Hmm. I think it's the old grandma section three, third one in the back. I think that's N. Well, he gets us given his little liberation speech about Pokemon and how they shouldn't be kept in Pokeballs and how they should all be free, yay! And you know, a lot of people hate on Getsis, honestly. I absolutely love Getsis. I think he's one of the coolest characters in the series. Obviously, N's also really, really cool. Just honestly, any character in the black and white universe is just super, super awesome. So N, Getsis, all of the above, really, really cool. And now he marches off with his team. And now everyone's gonna start second guessing himself and trying to think, is Liberation actually cool? Should we be liberating our people? Should they just be free? The answer is no, we must continue having them fight each other. It's the only solution. What do you want? Are you talking to my Pokemon in? Bro, get out of here. 
here. You're so weird. My name is Ed. Because I think if anyone's going to die, it's going to be Ernie because he keeps taking these critical hits like this. Honestly, I'm scared this Perlin's going to use Pursuit. I don't know if it has Pursuit yet, but if it does, it's scary, but I don't think it does. So yeah, just, I'm just double checking here to make sure Vinyl is a physical move because I'm not going to do that. Um, I, know, I think Razor Leaf is special, so I always act as a Either way, Vinyl uh, is physical, so those leaders will do some damage. I guess it hits in one hit, but that's only because we got a critical hit. So those, those, that double leer plus the critical hit from Violet and Crone is an absolute chance. So we went ahead and we defeated Ben for the first time. So Ben's gonna get a little bit harder later on. Honestly, the worst Pokemon in this game encounter is honestly Sigma. He's literally a Nuzlocke murderer. I have been knocked out by so many skills, it's not even funny. So, we went ahead and we beat Ben. And it looks like we're good to go now. So. You guys know what that means. Route 2 is coming up, which means we get to talk to ChatGPT and we get to see what our next Pokemon's gonna be. Now, this one's gonna be completely randomized. So we're gonna see um, what Chat chooses and we're also gonna see what it wants us to name our new Pokemon. So whatever that is, if it's a P-Dub, is there P-Dubs in the next route? I wanna say there is, but I don't think there is. I'll have to check Cerebi. Um, Cerebi has all the answers to everything. So we're gonna see what's, I know there's Purloins in the next route, I know there's obviously Patrats, and I think Lillipups as well, and I wanna say that's it, unless there's P-Dubs, but I don't think there is, but there might be. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and randomize it so you can see on the left side which Pokemon it's going to give us. Let's see what the chat wants us to do. Drum roll, please. Boom. Before we do that, let's see what our mom has to say to us, because she's going to stop us right here. So our cross transceiver is ringing, and my mom's going to check in on me because she's worried about me. Oh, Gummy, you've been gone so long. <laughs> mom, I've been gone 10 minutes, okay? You can literally just walk up the route. And you, oh, she did. She just she walked up the route to see me. Hi, Mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mom, you need to get out of here unless you have something for me. All right, she's got something for me. Thanks for the running shoes, Mom. I will take those, and we should be... Now we can actually run instead of just pacing around slowly around this region. So now we have the running shoes, and we can finally do some damage on the grass around here. But now that my mom's gone, we can finally randomize it, and we'll see what chat tells us. All right, and it looks like chat wants us to get a... Lillipup. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to get a Lillipup. And I think it wants us to name it Luna as well. So we want this one to be a girl. So not that Luna can't be a boy's name as well, but I feel like Luna really fits a girl Lillipup. So we're gonna keep going until we can find us a, uh, a female Lillipup. Or just a Lillipup in general. Honestly, it would have been kind of funny if it made me get another Patrat. Uh, it did try to give me a Patrat, but I forgot that we are missing some Pokemon in this region. ChatGPT is not completely accurate at 100%. I thought there was P-Dubs in the area. There's actually not P-Dubs in the area, according to Cerebi. But we finally found our Lillipup. So luckily, it told us to get a Pokemon that is in the route, so uh, we're okay on that front. So Lillipups can be kind of hard to catch as well. 
I don't know if they have a lower catch rate, but I swear to God, I always have trouble trying to catch the Lillipup. So hopefully, this Lillipup will not be much of an issue. We'll just go ahead and use a ball. I mean, it's still on the green, but it's basically at half health. So let's just go ahead and chuck a bad boy at, at this man. And we'll see if we can catch Lillipup. All right. First try, no go. Uh, we don't, <laughs> honestly, probably should have bought a few more Pokeballs. But unfortunately, we had to be a <laughs> Just to make sure that we don't run out of Pokeballs, I'm gonna have to kind of play it safe here. I also don't want to lose any of my Pokemon, so we're gonna try to keep them playing safe. We're gonna try to weaken the little Pokemon without losing any of our Pokemon. Um, but first, I do want to throw one ball just to get three exceptions. What are the odds? The odds of we actually don't catch a Pokemon are here are pretty slim, but never zero. So let's see if we can catch the little Pokemon. Yes, we and we did not catch the little pup. Okay, we got two left. So I'm getting a little nervous. So even though chat GPT told us to catch a little pup, if we fail to catch a little pup or we make it fame, it still counts as a little pup. So like no one does, lock rules. If you make a little pup fame or you run away or whatever, if you don't catch on your first attempt, that's it. Your game is game over. You do not get that Pokemon. So we're still running by those rules. I'm not, I'm not playing around with this anymore. We need to weaken it a little bit more before we throw our last ball. Because if I don't catch it, we don't get that Pokemon to try. We have to wait until we get to try it and go to the Dream Yard to get our next Pokemon. So, and there's a couple Pokemon up there as well. I'm still trying to figure out how to treat the static Pokemon. Like, do I, do I still get static Pokemon because I'm not really randomizing it? I don't know. But you guys will find out in the next episode. Next episode, we're definitely going to get a few Pokemon. a Pokemon or I'm not gonna catch this Pokemon. Because if we can get a little bit of this, are honestly absolute things. And they're really bulky and they can be a real absolute team. So I'm gonna try to keep this little bit on the team. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out some of those mirrors, get off the track, and then we're gonna try to go for another bike. We got the bike got it down to about that much HP, so I'm assuming that was a normal roll. If it was a low roll, then this bike could kill it, but I'm just gonna go for it right here. Tackle will be stabbed, but it's whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and bite it, and it should take it down right to the red. It's either gonna take it down to the red or it's gonna kill it. So fingers crossed. Okay, we're good. And we're still in pretty good HP, so we're gonna keep earning it, and we're just gonna see if we can catch Lillipup real quick right here. So this is our last ball. If we don't get it, it's game over for this Lillipup. So come on, Lillipup, come on, Luna. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. I was honestly on the edge of my fucking seat for that one. So I'm glad we caught Luna. So we can go ahead and name Luna and we are all set with our first couple encounters it looks like. All right, so Chad GPT has gifted us with a Snivy named Leafy. We have gotten our Patrat named Ernie that I named. And now we have Luna, the male little pup um, named Luna. So. We got our first three Pokemon, and we'll hopefully get a couple more in the next episode. But I think this is a great place to start it off on. Um, and we're going to get to the next episode and see where we go from there. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at these stats real quick. Let's see what we're working with. Somewhat of a clown. Yeah, I, I could tell. It didn't want to go in the Pokeball. Um, it does have the pickup ability, so that's super awesome. So that's great. And... Ooh, okay, okay. And Patrat, I think, likes, both of them like to thrash about. We love to see it, that high attack IV. All right, now we can end it. I'll get you guys in the next one. Whee! I'm a snag. I'm a snag.